Xiao Yan's reaction was swift, and the reactions of the others were also quite quick. Just when Xiao Yin had turned around and left, Song Qing and the rest had also immediately escaped the battleground. After which, they used all their strength to rush explosively to the forest. Swoosh! Chao Ying was at the front of everyone fleeing. Moreover, she was the first to escape the moment the spatial barrier broke. However, a couple of breaths time after she had cried out, a figure flashed over from behind her. Within the blink of an eye, that figure had overtaken her. Her pretty eyes swept over to see who it was. Who else could this figure be other than Xiao Yan? Those who were fleeing were not fools. They did not flee in the same direction. Instead, their eyes glanced at each other before they began rushing in all directions. Within a couple of flashes, they had fled into the vast forest. Chase, do not let any one of them off. The black-clothed man was shocked since the spatial barrier had been broken quickly by Chao Ying. He hurriedly recovered and cried out in a dense voice. Understood. The dozen-plus black-clothed man hurriedly acknowledged after hearing the order of the black-clothed man, after which they began to scatter in an orderly manner, giving chase to the fleeing individuals as they did so. I want to see just how long you can struggle. The black-clothed man's cold eyes shot in the direction Xiao Yin and Chowing had disappeared. He immediately let out a cold laugh as his body shook. The surrounding space slowly wiggled and his body disappeared in a strange manner. Two figures rushed away like agile monkeys within this lush, green forest. The speed of these two was as quick as lightning. Their bodies flashed between the forest and disappeared. Key. Two people rushed out without turning their heads around. Suddenly a ripple appeared from the trees beside them. A figure immediately appeared from within. The sudden appearance of this figure startled Xiao Yin and Xiao Ying. Their gazes hurriedly swept over and found that it was Song Qing. Joy flashed across Song Qing's face when he saw the two of them. His feet stepped through the empty air as he rushed over and said, Quick leave. There are some black-clothed people blocking that direction. He knew that these words were useless after speaking them because Xiao Yin and Xiao Ying did not reduce their speed even a little. Instead, their bodies flashed and their speed significantly increased. Song Qing's face twitched when he saw this. However, he did not have time to say anything else at the moment. He unleashed his speed to the maximum and hurriedly followed. The three of them wildly fled within the sea of trees. Their target was the top of the mountain. If they wanted to shake off the black-clothed Dozun, they would have to attract something that he was afraid of. The only one who could contend against this black-clothed Dozun was likely the ultimate beast at the top of it. The three figures rushed over the forest like a wild gale, causing the withered leaves on the ground to dance. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn. A bright silver glow continuously appeared. His flashing figure would occasionally leave some afterimages in the air that would slowly scatter. Creak. Xiao Yan's feet had just landed on a large tree when he curled his knee. He was just about to borrow the strength to shoot explosively forward when his expression suddenly changed. His foot curled in a strange arc and his body shot backwards instead. Bang. Soon after Xiao Yan's figure pulled back, the space a short distance from where his foot had landed suddenly distorted. A black figure immediately appeared in front of the three of them from nowhere. His cold eyes caused the hearts of Xiao Yan's group to sink. Your speed is quite quick. Unfortunately, it is still insufficient to shake off this venerable self. The black-clothed man appeared and glanced at Xiao Yan trio before laughing. A cold glint flashed in Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw this. This fellow was indeed troublesome to deal with. Do not waste the time of this venerable self. The black-clothed man appeared to have gradually lost his patience. His eyes suddenly turned dark and chilly. He curled his hand, and a deep blue crystal layer surged out of his body. After which, it formed an energy crystal hand claw. The claw had just been formed when the black-clothed man waved his sleeves. The crystal claw disappeared into nowhere. Be careful. Xiao Yan's heart trembled when he saw the crystal claw disappear, so he hurriedly cried out a warning. After having exchanged blows with this black-clothed man earlier, Xiao Yin was aware of just how terrifying that deep blue crystal layer was. Xiao Yin trio had separated into three directions after the cry sounded. They pulled back with lightning-like speed at the same time. 
The space in front of Chow Ing suddenly formed an intense ripple while the three of them were withdrawing. Immediately, the crystal claw forcefully penetrated space and grabbed at her in a ruthless manner. From the looks of it, that black-clothed Dozun was planning on attacking Chow Ing first. When the hand claw came grabbing over, Chow Ing was a little shocked to discover that the surrounding space had been forcefully solidified. Her figure was no longer able to move under this solidified space. Hence, she could only watch as the large crystal beast reached over. Xiao Yin and Song Qing had also sensed Chow Ying suddenly descend into a dangerous situation. Their expressions changed. The eyes of that Song Qing slightly flickered. An instant later, he violently grit his teeth as his feet pressed on a tree branch. His body fled into the forest with lightning-like speed and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Xiao Yin knit his brows when he saw Song Qing abandon Chao Ying to flee by himself. He looked at Chao Ying, who was bitterly enduring while clenching her silver teeth. All he could do was let out a quiet sigh. Song Qing might be able to do such a shameless thing, but he, Xiao Yin, was really unable to... After sighing in his heart again, Xiao Yin flicked his finger. A silver-colored figure rushed out of his storage ring, after which it swiftly appeared in front of Chao Ying, using its body to block her. Crack! The earth demon puppet had just appeared when that energy crystal hand violently grabbed it. One could only see its incomparably strong body immediately form numerous crack lines. There was even the low, deep sound of flesh exploding. Go! Xiao Yin immediately cried out sternly after having used the Earth Demon Puppet to help Chow Ying block the attack. This sudden helping hand had startled Chow Ying. Her pretty eyes immediately looked at Xiao Yin in a deep manner. Her red lips were gently widened. A slight sound was transmitted to Xiao Yin's ears. Thank you. Chow Ying also understood what kind of a situation it was after the words sounded. She did not stay for long. Her delicate body moved and she swiftly rushed into the forest. Xiao Yin beckoned with his hand after Chao Ying turned around and rushed into the forest. He hurriedly pulled the earth demon puppet that had nearly been turned to scraps back into his storage ring. A silver glow flickered under his feet, after which he unleashed the 3,000 lightning movement to its limit. He was accompanied by a series of afterimages as he rushed into the dense forest in another direction. The expression of the black-clothed Do Zun finally turned dark when he saw his attack was once again without any gains. His cold eyes swept over the directions where the three people had fled. They immediately paused on the spot where Xiao Yin left from. Since you love to rescue others, this venerable self shall see just who will come to rescue you this time around? A dense voice was emitted from the black-clothed Do Zun's mouth, after which his body shook and he once again disappeared in a strange manner. From the looks of it, Xiao Yan's interventions had truly angered him. Xiao Yan's figure rushed through the forest in a lightning-like manner. His expression was currently dark and solemn. Although there was no black-clothed Do Zun figure behind him, he could vaguely feel that he was being locked onto by that fellow. Clearly, that person had chosen Xiao Yan among the trio. Bastard! If you really force me to that extent, I will let you pay a bloody price even if I have to go all out to the point of being seriously injured. Xiao Yan's figure had continued to wildly charge for a distance, but that locked-on feeling did not weaken. Instead, it became even more intense. Immediately, a fierce glint flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. Although the other party was an elite Dozun, it was impossible for him to bite Xiao Yan's tough bones if this Dozun did not possess a good set of teeth. After this thought flashed across Xiao Yan's heart, his speed increased. In the end, Xiao Yan only able to see a blurry black line rush through the air of the forest. However, he was unable to see any of it while it wildly rushed past. Xiao Yan's foot stepped on empty air. He looked through the gaps in the forest as he looked at the top of the mountain, which was approaching. Key. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly shrank soon after a sigh was released within his heart. His feet stomped on empty air, and his body was forcefully stopped. His eyes were filled with a deep darkness as he looked at a tree branch a short distance from him. A black-clothed human figure was seated with his legs crossed at that spot. Regardless of how intelligent prey is, it will not be able to escape from the hands of the hunter. 
The black-clothed Doe Zun raised his eyes. His gaze glanced indifferently at Xiao Yin as he ferociously laughed. Xiao Yin, this venerable self wants to see if there will be anyone who will show up and rescue you this time around. I will definitely take your heavenly flames. A thought suddenly passed through Xiao Yan's heart when he heard these words. His eyes swept over the black-clothed Do Zun. There was a slight change in his expression as he exclaimed, You? You are old Mu Gu? The black-clothed Do Zun was slightly surprised when he heard this. After which, the savage smile on his face became even more prominent. He asked, Can't you recognize me? Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily sank when he heard the words of the black-clothed Do Zun not denying anything. This fellow was indeed old Mu Gu. He possessed such an ability to deceive the three giant heads of the Pill Tower and enter the Pill Realm. It is also just as well that you have recognized me. You can at least die knowing why. No matter how one puts it, the both of us have some relationship. If we were to really discuss about it, you might perhaps even have to call this venerable self-teacher uncle. Old Mu Gu laughed in a dark and chilly manner. I am not so blessed. Xiao Yin involuntarily laughed when he heard this. Old Mu Gu laughed and did not mind. His eyes were somewhat hot as he stared at Xiao Yin. This time around, this venerable self will not hold back. I will first kill you and take your soul. This venerable self has his own methods of getting you to reveal the flame mantra. After laughing in a dense, cold manner, old Mu Gu clenched his hand. That large claw, which was formed from a deep blue energy, once again appeared in front of him. He waved his sleeves and the enormous claw disappeared in a strange manner. Xiao Yan's expression also changed when he saw the enormous claw disappear. After the exchange earlier, he already understood that this thing could penetrate space itself. It was elusive, making it difficult for one to defend against it. Xiao Yin was not wrong. The space in front of him became distorted while Xiao Yin concentrated. An enormous crystal claw rushed out and grabbed at him. The momentum of the large claw was extremely shocking. Xiao Yin also understood just how terrifying this thing was. Even the earth demon puppet had nearly been crippled when the claw had grabbed it. With the strength of his body, it was likely that he would explode into a pile of bloody flesh with just a pinch. However, it was fortunate that he was already prepared. The moment the large claw had appeared, the silver glow under Xiao Yan's feet flashed before the claw could even lock onto him. Within an instant, he had appeared in empty ground around a couple of dozen meters away. Hemph! Old Mu Gu coldly laughed upon seeing Xiao Yan's swift reaction. His laughter had just sounded when Xiao Yin was dazzled. The large crystal hand, filled with an unusual spiritual pressure, once again appeared in a strange fashion, after which the hand grabbed with lightning-like speed. The surrounding space once again solidified. The solidification of the surrounding space caused Xiao Yan's expression to change. This crystal large hand was really too troublesome to deal with. It was unusually difficult to even dodge it. An elite Dozun was indeed extraordinary. Xiao Yin abruptly clenched his teeth as numerous thoughts flashed across his heart. His eyes did not blink as he stared at the large claw that had come violently grabbing over. Do Qi within his body began to be maneuvered at this moment. The current him really needed to engage in an all-out final battle. The enormous claw flashed. It opened and was just like a ghost claw as it pinched at Xiao Yan's head. Xiao Yan's expression had become completely grave as he watched the large claw grow larger in his eyes. His hand seal changed as he did so. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change First Change Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change Second Change Two cries sounded one after another within Xiao Yan's heart, causing the Dou Qi within his body to suddenly soar. The surrounding solidified space had also become much more relaxed. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change Third Change Xiao Yan's vicious eyes looked at Old Mu Gu with a ferocious smile on his face. He inhaled a deep breath of air. The seals formed by his hands changed once again as he prepared to use all of his strength. Just as Xiao Yan's hand seal was formed, the space in front of him strangely distorted. Immediately, a strong figure stepped out of the distorted space and stood in front of Xiao Yin like a metal tower. A vast, calm breath suddenly surged out of the strong body like a sweeping storm when it appeared. 
This kind of feeling was as though the one in front was not a person, but instead, a sky-supporting mountain. He he, murdering openly in my territory. You really don't give me any face, do you? The figure had just appeared when he let out a rough laugh in front of Xiao Yan's stunned eyes. After which, the figure clenched his five fingers tightly. A punch without any fancy moves was suddenly thrown, and it heavily collided with the large claw. Bang! The two collided. The crystal-like large claw, which possessed an unusually great strength, had been forced back by over a dozen meters. After which, it flew through the air and vaguely revealed some cracks. Who has come? This sudden unexpected change caused old Mu Gu to cry out furiously after being startled. That strong man had yet to say anything after old Mu Gu's cry sounded when an alluring laughter suddenly resounded over the forest. Old fellow, I will not care if you chase after the others. However, you cannot kill Xiao Yin. Ziyan. Xiao Yin, who was in a stunned state, was immediately even more startled when he heard this familiar voice. Joy quickly surged into his eyes. Old Mu Gu's expression slightly changed when he heard the clear and loud voice that resounded over the forest. His eyes swept around before suddenly shooting to the tree branch of a large tree, only to see a purple-clothed little girl there. Both of her legs were gently swinging. Even with Old Mu Gu's calmness, he was involuntarily startled when he saw this little girl. His eyes were covered with shock. Those who could enter the pill realm were all alchemists that participated in the pill gathering. However, this little girl in front was clearly not one of them. Just how did she enter this place? The purple-clothed little girl ignored the surprised gaze of old Mugu. Her small hand pressed against the tree branch and her lovely, small body leaped down from high above. After which, it gently landed in front of Xiao Yin. She involuntarily laughed when she saw Xiao Yan's stunned expression before giving him a strange face. Her lovely and pretty actions were really likable. Ziyin, why are you here? The shock within Xiao Yan's eyes lasted for a good amount of time before gradually disappearing. He grabbed this little girl, who had disappeared for quite a while, and pulled her to his side. After which, he carefully looked at her. Her jade carving appearance was as cute as it was before giving her an appearance similar to a porcelain doll. I have escaped. He he, I knew that you were participating in the pill gathering, so I came here to wait for you. Ziyin smiled like a little fox. Both of her eyes narrowed into a crescent shape. I have been very pitiful. After having left, I no longer had any tasty yaowan. Every day, those hateful fellows would pour some disgusting stuff for me to eat. Ziyin grabbed Xiao Yan's clothes. Her large watery eyes immediately became moist. Her life during this period of time was really too awful from her point of view. It was just like a life in hell when compared to the time she was beside Xiao Yan. Therefore, she had hurriedly took the opportunity to flee once she had the chance to do so. Your tribe members? Xiao Yan was astonished before he immediately understood something. After which, he asked in a surprised manner. Ziyan violently nodded. From the looks of it, she greatly hated the way her tribe members treated her. However, if those members of her tribe came to be aware of this, they would likely be so furious that they would end up spitting out blood. In this world, one was not rewarded for being a good person. Xiao Yin helplessly shook his head. He did understand Zi Yan's character. Every word was exaggerated many times over when spoken from her mouth. Hence, he did not really believe these words of hers. As for whatever thing that was being fed to her, at the very least, this girl appeared quite lively. She was undoubtedly many times better than when she had left back then. Hey, have you finished chatting? Little grand aunt, this fellow is not someone easy to deal with. That strongly built man turned his head somewhat impatiently and spoke to the two while Xiao Yin and Zi Yin were chatting. Big fellow, there is no need for you to be anxious. Go and beat him. Your task will be considered nearly over once you finish him off. Zi Yin curled her small mouth before pointing at the gloomy-faced old Mu Gu a short distance away. She instructed in a crisp voice. That large man and old Mu Gu's faces involuntarily twitched when they heard her words. You really think quite highly of me. It is already not bad that I can block him. If not for my constitution, I would not be able to beat him. The large man helplessly replied. 
He appeared quite speechless when it came to the task Zi Yin had assigned him. May I know who this friend is? Xiao Yin looked at him. He smiled, cupped his hands together, and inquired politely. He is called Xiong Zhan. I call him Big Fellow. He is the chief of this 10,000 medicinal mountain range. He he, all of the natural treasures in this place are managed by him. Zi Yin laughed. A greediness flashed across her watery eyes. That large man called Xiong Zhan involuntarily shuddered when he heard Zi Yan's words. He thought of the precious medicinal ingredients being eaten by Zi Yan as tidbits. This little fellow was really someone who wasted treasures. Chief, Xiao Yan's heart was slightly startled. If one put it this way, would this Xiong Zhan not be that ultimate beast talked about by Song Qing's group? This friend, it is really not my intention to barge into this mountain. The old me shall apologize to you if I have offended you in any way. However, this person is a target that I must capture. I hope that you will not interfere. Old Mu Gu a short distance away finally spoke with a gloomy face. Although Shtong Zhan's level was inferior to him, his fighting strength was extremely shocking. It was impossible to tell just who would end up dying to whose hands. Xiong Zhan rolled his eyes upon hearing this. After which, he responded in an irritated manner. You have heard what this little grand aunt said earlier. I must protect this person. Why don't we do it this way? I will not bother about you barging into the mountain, and you should just turn around and leave. What do you say? The corner of old Mu Gu's mouth twitched. His eyes gradually became cold. This time around, he had the intention of capturing Xiao Yin at any costs. The hindrance of anyone would not be able to shake his determination. In that case, old Mu Gu became silent for a moment. A fierce glint suddenly surged within his eyes as he yelled in a dense voice, You can go and die. The dense voice had just sounded when old Mu Gu waved his sleeves. That crystal hand, which had been forced back by Xiong Zhan earlier, once again rushed out. Within a flash, the hand appeared in front of Xiong Zhan. The large hand was tightly clenched, forming a fist that violently smashed at the Xiong Zhan's head. Key. The wind from the fist had arrived before the punch did. That terrifying fist wind caused the ground under Xiong Zhan's feet to sink by nearly two feet despite them being a great distance apart. An enormous fist imprint appeared on the ground. He, the old me has dominated for so many years. I have not met anyone who dares tell me to go and die. Who do you think you are? A fierceness flashed across Xiong Zhan's face when he saw old Mu Gu attacking at the first sign of a disagreement. His fist was clenched tightly and a deep yellow energy surged out of his body. A fist was violently thrown out, and it chose the most direct, non-fanciful method to collide with the large crystal fist. Bang! The two violently collided, and a terrifying ripple rushed out with lightning-like speed. All the grass within a hundred meter radius were cut by half a foot. Some of the gigantic trees' trunks were cut. A large amount of sawdust erupted from the spot where they broke. Xiao Yan's eyes and hands were swift. When that forceful ripple erupted, he had hugged Zi Yin and moved his body. After which, he rushed to the sky, lowered his head, and looked at a patch of yellow soil that had appeared within the vast sea of trees. He was involuntarily a little speechless. It was indeed worthy of a battle between the Dozun class. Such a great destructive strength had been created by just a raise of one's hand. Xiong Zhan ended up taking two steps back within the forest now permeated by dust. The ground shook each time his feet landed. This continued two times before he managed to completely stabilize his body. He immediately raised his head and his eyes were unusually hot as he looked at old Mu Gu across from him. He cried out, All right, it is enjoyable. Again. Old Mu Gu's expression turned dark and cold. He glanced at the large crystal claw that was once again sent flying. One could see the cracks on it had become denser. The fighting strength of this Xiong Zhan is really great. In what way is he just an expert that has half a foot into the Do Zun class as Song Qing had mentioned? From the looks of it, he has likely already advanced to the Dozun class. Otherwise, it would have been impossible for him to face old Mu Gu head on without too much of a disadvantage. Xiao Yin softly spoke. Surprise involuntarily flashed across his eyes when he looked at the battle below. The big fellow has already advanced to the Dozun class a couple of years ago. 
Ziyin, who was in Xiao Yan's embrace, curled her mouth and revealed some information. It is fortunate that I did not listen to Song Qing while he was fanning the flames. Having only half a foot into the Dozun class and completely entering the Dozun class were two completely different concepts. With the lineup of Song Qing earlier, they would only deliver themselves to death by going there. Xiao Yin involuntarily smacked his tongue when he heard this. This Song Qing was indeed untrustworthy. On the yellow soil that was being forcefully created, Old Mu Gu's eyes were dark and dense as he stared at Xiong Zhan, who had a face filled with the intent to battle. Some killing intent also flashed across his heart. The level of difficulty in dealing with Xiong Zhan had far exceeded his expectations. However, this was impossible to get him to give up. Immediately, his shriveled hands rolled out of his sleeves and began to form seals with lightning-like speed. Nether Demon Firearm a deep blue flame swiftly erupted from old Mugu's body like a volcano following the cold cry emitted. It immediately surged into the large crystal claw. With an increasing amount of deep blue flames surging into the large crystal claw, one could see the lines on the surface of the large claw gradually mend. A deep blue arm of fire was slowly extended from the back of the large claw. The flame rose, causing this arm to give others a kind of extremely cold feeling. It appeared just like the arm of a death god. A grave expression flashed across Xiong Zhan's face when he saw the large arm with deep blue colored fire lingering over it. A low roar was emitted from his throat. The large hand trembled slightly. Those who hinder this venerable self shall die. A dark chilly expression flashed across old Mu Gu's eyes. His hand seal suddenly changed, and that large flame arm immediately rushed up. After which, it appeared just like a meteorite as it ruthlessly smashed down on the spot where Xiao Zhan was located. The space along the way suddenly crumbled, revealing many dark black spatial holes. The large fire hand rushed down. When it was a certain distance away, the flame on it suddenly soared. The large fire hand also swelled with the wind. In an instant, it had transformed into something nearly a hundred feet around. An enormous dark shadow covered the forest within a hundred meter radius. Roar! Xiong Zhan let out a ferocious roar to the sky after sensing the hot energy pressure that was being transmitted from it. His body also began to swell with a swoosh swoosh sound at this instant. Dark black, long hair surged out of his body in all directions. Finally, he tightly clenched his enormous fist. A glaring, deep yellow energy surged out like flood water. At this instant, Xiao Zhan appeared to have merged with this enormous mountain, using the strength of the mountain to unleash a shocking strike. The large fire hand rushed down. An instant later, it collided with Xiong Zhan's enormous fist. The mountain shook and all the beasts trembled as a result. Bang! An earth-shaking sound suddenly reverberated over the entire mountain like a thunderous roar from the sky. A terrifying energy storm formed at this moment after which it swept in all directions. The entire mountain trembled under this ferocious energy storm. Numerous ten-foot-wide fissures swiftly spread, after which they stretched to the edge of one's sight. This sudden energy storm that had erupted attracted the attention of the many high-rank magical beasts on the mountain top. However, all of them were greatly shocked when they sensed just how frightening this energy storm was, after which their footsteps hurriedly rushed away from the mountain. A battle of this level was not something they could get involved in. The spreading energy ripple easily flattened nearly half of the forest on this mountain. A thousand-foot-wide pit gradually appeared within Xiao Yan's sight. Hiss! Even with Xiao Yan's calm demeanor, he involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air as he stared at the bottomless pit that was nearly a thousand feet in size. Such terrifying destructive strength was indeed worthy of the battle between members of the Do Zun class. Permeating yellow dust had just risen into the air when it was blown away by the wild wind. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly swept over the area below, after which they paused on the body of Old Mu Gu, who was suspended in the air. At this moment, the chest of Old Mu Gu rose and fell slightly. His breathing was no longer as calm as it was before. Clearly, that attack had exhausted him. Where is Xiao Zhan? Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly searched. He looked at the bottomless pit as his brows slightly knit. 
Inside it, Ziyan's finger pointed to the interior of the deep pit, her watery, large eyes contained a flickering purple-colored glint. Roar! Ziyan's voice had just sounded when a soul-stirring roar suddenly erupted from the pit, after which it transformed into a substance-like sonic wave that spread apart with a bang. It once again sent a deep layer of yellow soil on the ground flying. Bang! The roar slowly weakened, after which the entire mountain suddenly began to tremble. Numerous thunderous muffled vibrations were emitted from that deep pit. The expression of old Mugu changed when he heard this sound. His dark, cold eyes were focused on the seemingly bottomless pit. Boom! Another terrifyingly loud sound suddenly appeared. Immediately, an incomparably large body leaped out of the deep pit like an enormous tower, after which it suddenly landed on the ground. The entire mountain violently shook when his feet landed on the ground. A shocked expression involuntarily flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the enormous being that had leaped out of the deep pit. That thing that had revealed itself was a hundred-meter large bear. The large bear was black in color, and the fur all over its body stood like metal needles. There were eight silver hairlines on the chest of the large bear. However, the thing that surprised Xiao Yin the most was the 20-meter-long black-colored tail behind it. When this giant tail was swung, it was accompanied by the sound of wind splitting apart. From the looks of it, this tail was just like a dragon's tail. This is… ancient dragon bear? Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the silver-colored hairlines on the chest of the large bear before immediately focusing on the dragon tail behind it. A glow flickered in his eyes as he muttered to himself. A dragon bear was a ferocious magical beast that was extremely rare to find because it was considered a unique beast of the ancient times. Moreover, its body vaguely possessed a dragon's blood, and it possessed a terrifying strength. Based on what was recorded in the ancient texts, this kind of dragon bear was also called Nine Line Demon Dragon Bear. The silver colored hairlines on their chests was not merely for appearance's sake. Instead, it was used to judge its strength. It is rumored that when this dragon bear possesses nine dragon lines, the dragon bloodline within its body will completely awaken. At that time, the dragon bear would undergo a transformation. If the transformation was a success, it would evolve into the ultimate dragon bear. Once it evolved, all it needed to do was raise its hand to shatter mountains and crack the lands. Hence, these kinds of hairlines were also called dragon lines. The current Xiongzhan already possessed eight dragon lines. If another were to appear, this large fellow would become the ultimate demon bear renowned for its ferocity even during ancient times. It is unexpected that I am actually able to see a dragon bear here. How incredible. Xiao Yin involuntarily shook his head and sighed. It is only a dragon bear. It is only strong because of the hint of its dragon bloodline. Zi Yin, who was in Xiao Yan's embrace, curled her mouth slightly as she replied. By being able to possess the dragon bloodline, it is enough to state its strength. Bloodline is really too important to magical beasts. When I had just arrived in the Central Plains back then, someone from the Heavenly Demon Phoenix tribe had nearly found the Heavenly Demon Phoenix essence blood in my storage ring. Xiao Yin smiled and spoke as he suddenly recalled the events at the Wind Lightning Pavilion back then. Heavenly Demon Phoenix? They hurt you? Ziyan's small hands which were hanging around Xiao Yan's neck, suddenly tightened. A glaring purple glint suddenly flashed across her watery eyes. Her small, bright red tongue gently licked her small lips. No, but I refined the wings of a heavenly demon phoenix into a flying doe technique. If I use them in the future and someone ends up recognizing them, there would indeed be some trouble. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the enormous dragon bear as he randomly replied. Relax, if they dare to come. I'll ensure that none of them return. Zi Yan's small head leaned against Xiao Yan's shoulder. She used a voice that only she could hear to softly mumble. Xiao Yan did not hear what Zi Yan had said. His attention had been focused on Xiong Zhan, who had transformed. Perhaps it was due to his actual body having appeared, but Xiong Zhan's aura was even fiercer compared to earlier. A pair of blood red, large eyes were staring at old Mu Gu who was like an ant in the air. Again, Xiong Zhan's feet suddenly stepped forward. 
His distorted face revealed a ferocious expression. His fist also smashed toward Old Mugu. A wild wind surged across the sky. The whistling sound of wind splitting permeated the entire mountain range like a low drum beat. Even Old Mugu did not dare to underestimate Xiong Zhan's punch after he had transformed into its actual form. Old Mugu's hand seal changed, and the space in front of him distorted. It quickly formed a thick spatial barrier. Bang! A large fist that was covered with black hairs violently landed on the spatial barrier. It easily blasted the spatial barrier apart. The large hand immediately spread, and the black-colored hair on Xiong Zhan's hand shot like arrows in all directions. These black, sharp hairs moved at extremely terrifying speeds. With a flash, they appeared before old Mugu and had a deep yellow energy trace. Clearly, these things might not appear great, but if one were to be struck by them, one would definitely not feel good. With old Mugu's eyesight and experience, he would naturally not slight the attack of the other party. The seal formed by his hands changed. After which, he opened his mouth and blew. A deep blue flame shot out like a fire pillar. Finally, it collided with the sharp hairs. The frightening temperature of the sea heart flame caused the hairs to quietly vaporize. They transformed into clusters of grayish ashes that flew down. Schwa. The flame had just been spat out when a black figure suddenly rushed over from the sky. The terrifying wind caused old Mugu's expression to change a little. The seal formed by his hands quickly changed. After which, the fire pillar from earlier immediately agglomerated into a giant fire beast that was a couple hundred feet large. It launched toward that black figure with lightning-like speed. Key. The black figure descended down. After which, it collided with the fire beast. A terrifying strength split the fire beast into two. The remaining force rushed through the air and descended, forming a deep scar, a couple of hundred feet large, on the ground. The black shadow broke through the fire beast and rotated in the air with a whistling sound. Old Mugu glanced over. Only then did he discover that the black figure was Xiong Zhan's enormous dragon tail. This beast really possesses incredible brute force. Numerous spatial cracks appeared when old Mugu looked at the enormous swinging tail. His eyes involuntarily shrank, and his expression was a little ugly. If they were to really fight with Dou Qi, it was likely that Xiong Zhan would not be able to defeat old Mugu even after having transformed. However, Xiong Zhan was able to engage in an all-out fight without any concern, but old Mugu could not. He still needed to participate in the subsequent pill gathering. He needed to become the champion and take the opportunity to snatch the 3,000 burning flames. If he were to engage in an all-out life and death fight with Xiong Zhan here, what remaining strength would he be left with to compete with the others? It was impossible for old Mu Gu to really engage in an all-out battle with Xiong Zhan due to him having such concerns. However, if he did not really go all-out and fight, it was impossible for him to defeat Xiong Zhan. This kind of situation caused him to fall into an infinite loop. He was unable to obtain both no matter what he did. A glint quickly flashed over old Mu Gu. It was a long while later before he violently clenched his teeth. His eyes viciously turned to Xiao Yin in the sky as he coldly cried out, Xiao Yin, consider yourself lucky this time around. This venerable self will personally finish you off once the pill gathering is over. I will keep you company. A cold glint flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he coldly laughed. Once he obtained the 3,000 burning flame and refined it, he would no longer be afraid of this old fellow. Himph! Old Mu Gu's face slightly twitched upon hearing Xiao Yan's. Immediately, his cold eyes turned to Xiong Zhan, who was standing on the mountain like a metal tower. Both of his hands tightened with a great unwillingness. He finally ceased doing any useless tasks a moment later. With a wave of his hand, the surrounding space slowly distorted. His body immediately moved, and he rushed into the distorted space and disappeared. Xiao Yin, leave this little life of yours for this venerable self. Old Mu Gu's figure might have disappeared, but his ice-cold voice still penetrated space as it slowly reverberated across the sky. Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes. A fierce glint was flickering within his dark black eyes, 